Hey guys, so it has finally been about a week since I have moved into my new apartment. So I want to show you around. I think I can link it here. Uh, I made a video when there was absolutely nothing in this apartment. I bought it and it wasn't furnished, it didn't have anything. So now let's compare it just up front, the stuff you're probably actually caring about. How much is my apartment? Um, I live in the Gangnam area and it's kind of the more expensive area. Um, so it was really, really difficult for me to find an apartment that I wanted for, for my budget. Um, I could have gone over, but I really didn't want to spend a lot of money for a place. My budget was, I wanted it to be 500,000 won, so about $470 a month. Um, that was my absolute maximum. I didn't want to put too much down for key money. So the problem in Korea is you need to pay a security deposit and the higher your security deposit is, chances are the lower your rent is. But if you want a lower security deposit, chances are they're going to ask for a higher rent. So I was kind of asking for a lot, especially in my area. So. I found one that I really liked and I immediately hopped on it and I was it was right across the street from my old place and I was like we gotta go like I need this place and my boyfriend was like oh you should wait you should wait and find something else but I didn't listen and I still don't think I could have found a better deal so I am very happy with where I am so here's what I paid so up front my uh, key money my deposit was four million uh, which means that it was like $3,700, that's me not knowing the conversion rate, um, but it's a little under $4,000 up front. I just transferred it to their bank from my bank account. That was gone in seconds. So something you need to think about is you need to have a couple thousand dollars ready. And then my monthly fee is... Um, 470,000 won, so about $420. So that is what I've got going on, and um, you can definitely find places cheaper than that. Don't be discouraged, like, oh my god, I can't find anything cheaper than that. I'm in a very expensive area. I'm in one of the most expensive areas. Also, if you're wondering how I found this place, um, I found it using Jikbang and I will link it below, but there is an app. Um, it's, it, I think it's all in Korean, but um, it's pretty easy to figure out. Um, yeah, let's go on a tour of my Ban Jiha in Gangnam. So I'm not gonna show you the outside of my door because my, my neighbors are like moving in. So I moved in and then my neighbors across the street also moved in. I don't know if I like freaked out the neighbors and they like wanted to move out or whatever, but I have new neighbors and they're kind of moving in, so I don't wanna be so anyway, let's get started. Welcome, do you remember this site? Hmm? Hmm? You've already been here. So basically you walk in and this is my shoe area. Here's the lever shoes here. Um, I will show you. So bought a lot of toilet paper recently, but I have all of this room, still the mysterious shoe left over from somebody else. Um, but I don't really have that many shoes so I use it for a lot of other things. So then let me turn around so you can get the full effect again. Oh, I darn, I thought I folded my blanket and made it pretty, but I didn't. So this is my living room. I should really get my wide lens, hold on a second. Well, there's some kind of glare on my lens. Unfortunately, there is no ghost in my apartment. You're just seeing a weird thing, but this is my apartment. I'm gonna take it off so that you don't have this weird glare the entire time, but basically this is the main room, and then over there is the kitchen, which we will get to, and then over here is a magical door. Let's go inside. Is the light on? Yes, it is. Sweet. So basically, this is a really awesome room. It is my closet, so I have all of my suitcases still there, Oh, that doesn't, it looks messier than it is, guys. I swear, I'm, in, I'm a really neat person, so I like don't wanna give off the wrong vibes here. So basically I have my closet. I have this weird like 
80s glass stuff and you can actually like see out into the hallway which is a little weird when I'm like trying to get dressed in the morning I have to like figure out how to do it you can't actually see anything out of those windows you can see like an outline that's about it so I'm just kind of still weirded out I'm still new to this nothing too spectacular in here got some cobwebs and all that fun stuff going on so anyway let's go back into safety away from the bugs and the cobwebs now perhaps you're wondering but Carrie where do you sleep? Well, guys, look at this. And that table folds up, so I can like put that away anywhere I want to. So this is from Ikea. It's actually from one of my coworkers. Um, he gave it to me. Very kind of him. Thank you, Diane. Um, but yeah, so this is also my bed, which is pretty great. And yeah, then I can just fold it back up and I can have a sofa and a bed because I always feel weird with people like inviting you in and the only place to sit is their bed. Yeah, that's where I sleep. I got really lucky. Woo. So continuing on, um, she is dead right now, but I have this cute little bird lamp. Maybe I'll plug her in in a second and show show you her because she is very, very cute and given to me by my boyfriend. And he gets really mad when she's dead and she's dead right now, so we should charge it before he sees that. This is one of my windows. It's nighttime, so you can't see outside, but it's just a concrete wall, so it really doesn't matter. These have not been put up yet because I, I'm just lazy. Um, I have a movie projector which is also a gift from my boyfriend, more for him though. He was like, happy birthday, here's this projector that I wanted. So, there's that. <laughs> um, I stole this, my neighbors, like I said, moved out recently, and they put all of this fine furniture outside in the trash. So I just like looked around and didn't see anyone and just took it. So it was definitely in the trash, it wasn't for sale. Um, these are some of my books. I have basically every Haruki Murakami in here because I always have to have copies with me. I have this squishy Hello Kitty toast, which if you follow me on Tumblr, you have seen. I'm obsessed with it. And my cute little Hello Kitty in her kimono from my host sister when I first went to Japan. Thank you. Just various artwork from friends and um, kind of all over the place. I drew this one, guys. I'm an artist. There it is. My other window. Hello, this is the window where the cat tried to come in the other day, which was an adventure. Um, this mirror, hey guys, this mirror was here, and it was also really dirty and really scary, um, but I cleaned it and now it's fine. So I have a mirror on my floor because I'm not hanging it anywhere. Um, this is my little arts and crafts corner. This is a strange instrument that you can play. I think it's supposed to sound better than that. I have a book for how to play it, but it's called a ocarina. Does anyone play this? Can anyone teach me? These are my weird little collections from kind of everywhere. A lot of Japan, San Diego, Japan, 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 Japan. Anyway. Moving on to the kitchen. You might have seen my friend, Ben, already. Someone suggested that I name him Ben because it means stem or leaf in Cantonese. I'm not really sure the origin of his name, but this is Ben, and he has been with me since day one. This is my all-time favorite cup in the entire world. I got it in um, Tokyo. It is absolutely my favorite thing like to the point where I don't want to ever use it I just want to look at it so I just have a little kitchen um, I have two gas ranges my gas is awesome because it's a timer system at least this might be a normal thing but my apartment my old apartment didn't have this so we would like always be like oh did we leave the gas on I don't know but so you can set it to like 30 minutes an hour whatever however long you're cooking and then it'll just like and close again, which is great. Um, there's really nothing exciting in my cabinets. 
I'm not going to open them all other than previous owner left me a ton of menus. My adorable sponge that I also don't use, I use that sponge because it's less adorable, but also more useful. Got my tea, my tea hot water maker that I have like gone to great lengths to use. Here's my tea cabinet. It got too big. Originally it was up in one of the other cabinets, but it was, it's just too big. I have too many drink things. Got my misugaru. So, um, tea from Paris. That's what I had this morning. It's Paris breakfast tea that was bought for me in Paris by my boyfriend. Actually, great gift. So he got his, his one really good gift, so now he can get me whatever gifts he wants. Anyway, moving on, let's go into this scary door, which you can probably guess is a bathroom. This is my hot water that deserves like a whole nother video in itself. So, ding, the fan is kind of loud. So sorry, I'm gonna talk loud if you can't hear me. So this is my bathroom and it's a bit crowded because I have a laundry machine in my bathroom. So originally my um, laundry machine was out in, like we had a terrace in my old place. So that's where it was, but now it's in here, which is whatever, is my sink. Here are my infamous, infamous teapot tiles. They still don't understand. And then I have um, some face masks that friends gave me and this, which we're going to try together because I have heard fantastic things about this. This is <laughs> how they plugged in this beast of a thing. Medicine cabinet, not really anything too crazy about it. Turquoise toilet, which is really fun. And this super fun um, deodorizer, air freshener, what have you. It just looks really cool. The lemon scent has kind of faded, but I think it still looks really cool. And for the first time in my life, I have a bath towel. Not the first time, but like the first time in like five years that I've had a bath towel. Thanks to old roommate Kayla, best friend Kayla. I shouldn't call you old roommate Kayla, which came as a gift to her. So really this is like sisterhood of the traveling bath towel. Um, thanks guys, keeping me dry. And that's kind of it guys. Um, this is my apartment. Oh, I should show you the bird. Wait, wait, we'll show you the bird. Oh, this is totally scary. I'm gonna like see a face show up behind me or something. Oh, she's on a cord, I can't pick her up. This is my bird. I'll put her down. Isn't she pretty? Okay, whew. Um, whew, now that that nightmare's over, I have a ton of glow-in-the-dark stars everywhere, all over my apartment because why not? Anyway, yes. This is my home. Yes, there's bubble wrap on my windows because that's how people insulate their homes in Korea, uh, keeping it warm. And yeah, thanks for being on this journey with me, seeing it be very, very empty and kind of depressing to it being a little bit more cheerful. I got all my colors and, and everything happening. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully still in the same apartment. I don't want to move again. Okie doke. Bye. I'm going to go fight this refrigerator and see if I can make it stop freezing things and eat dinner. Bye.